Special thanks to Patreon supporter The Grand Pope for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Secure Tool here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we go ahead and build the RMS Empress of Ireland. RMS Empress of Ireland was a British built ocean liner that sank near the mouth of the St. Lawrence River in Canada following a collision in thick fog with a Norwegian, Norwegian ship, the Sorstad, in the early hours of May 29th, 1914. Although the ship was equipped with watertight compartments and in the aftermath of the Titanic disaster two years earlier, carried more than enough lifeboats for all aboard, she foundered in only 14 minutes. Of the 1,477 people on board, 1,012 died, making it the worst peacetime maritime disaster in Canadian history. Fairfield Shipbuilding and Engineering built the Empress of Ireland and her sister ship, the Empress of Britain, at Govan on the Clyde in Scotland. The liners were commissioned by the Canadian Pacific Steamships, or CPR, for the North Atlantic route between Liverpool and Quebec City. The transcontinental CPR and its fleet of ocean liners constituted the company's self-proclaimed world's greatest transportation system. Empress of Ireland had just begun her 96th voyage when she was lost. The wreck of Empress Ireland lies in 40 meters of water, making it accessible to advanced divers. Many artifacts from the wreckage have been retrieved, some of which are on display in the Empress of Ireland Pavilion at the ship Historic Maritime de la Pointe Alpier in Rimouski, Quebec, and at the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The Canadian government has passed legislation to protect the site. So yeah, the uh, Empress of Ireland here, uh, a very um, kind of cool ship. Again, it looks going to look like a Titanic. It's from that time period where those really kind of traditional ocean liners with the black hole and the white superstructure were very common. Um, the Empress of Ireland um, obviously sunk and she's famous because of that sinking, uh, making her one of the worst um, maritime naval uh, disasters and up in there for sure. Um, obviously, Titanic taking the peak there. But it's just kind of a crazy thing to think how fast the ship sank and how... Um, you know, quickly, um, it was uh, basically impossible for all of those aboard to escape, um, especially since this ship was supposed to be modernized with the new safety systems and stuff like that to help prevent an air Titanic disaster. But um, sadly enough, uh, it still had that. Um, so overall, a pretty interesting build. Should be a fun one to add to uh, your BAFTA build worlds. Um, it's just kind of a nice uh, ocean liner. And, you know, these ocean liners from this time period are just really nice. They're really clean and just uh, really intricate, cool-looking ships. And um, I'm excited to kind of put in there one out there to kind of go along with our Titanic build. Uh, before we go ahead and jump into the tutorial, though, or take a look at the build, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter of the Grand Pope for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page and um, all that stuff. Link is always in the video description. With that, though, let's go and dive in here to take a look at the Armas Empress of Ireland. So, going ahead and getting started with it, you have the uh, bow here of the ship. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it's got its... Uh, black hole for the main portion in the superstructure uh, basically that white color we have the forward deck cranes as well as the cargo uh, hold right there in front of the bridge which is located right there on the sides here we have all of our lifeboats our two uh, funnels and as you can see a lot more lifeboats compared to titanic uh, we also have just uh, some various detailing here on the top kind of poop deck and all that stuff um, we then have our mass, rear mass, you know, the rigging for it, the two rear deck cranes, and we have, um, basically kind of the back here, stern of the ship, little deck and all that stuff. So, uh, it's a pretty cool build, pretty simple and straightforward, should be a, a pretty quick one altogether. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first uh, layer of the build, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with layer 1. Now we're starting with uh, layer 1 here, and if you do want to place this in the water, you will want to pay close attention to this next part. This ship here is going to sit uh, basically one block underneath the water with layer 1. So you can see the blue concrete here is represent our water level, and that red concrete there is the start of our hole. So we want to make sure that that uh, red concrete block there is underneath that, and... Make sure that's all squared away and good to go. Once you have that situated, uh, we're going to go ahead and go off the red concrete block of two brick top slabs going forward. 
We're going to go ahead and go back from the red concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 red concrete blocks back. So this here should be a total of 26. If we just go ahead and double check our count, then it is going to be 26 blocks in total back from the brick top slabs. On the back here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a brick upside down stair. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space and then place down another brick upside down stair like this with a second stair. Or rather, actually, sorry, it's going to be a brick stair like this and then an upside down stair right behind it. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a red stained glass pane and we're going to place it down to both sides of this red concrete block here. And then we're going to place down a brick wall that goes forward from it. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves lightning rods. We're going to place down two lightning rods going back from those glass panes. And we then want to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab that's going to come off those like that. After that is all done, we're going to go ahead and then take our red concrete. We're going to go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Red concrete blocks forward, an air brick wall, and our red stainless pane. We're going to go ahead and go over to the other side here and do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Red concrete blocks, a brick wall, and a red stained glass pane going forward. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and take our red stained glass panes, and we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to go on the fourth block back. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this block here, we're going to place down our red stained glass pane. And we're going to go ahead and place down one and two panes, so you have a total of three there. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brick walls. And then one, two, and three red stained glass panes back. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Like so. And this will basically bring us to the end here of layer number one of the build. After that's all done, as I mentioned, that's going to conclude layer number one of the build. This is what it should look like from the top down uh, view to go ahead and get the start of our draft um, uh, started. And um, yeah, that right there is going to conclude everything for layer one. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to begin, we're going to place down a brick wall here and a red stingless pane going forward. We're going to go ahead and take a red concrete blocks and place down a row all the way down the center here of the ship. So one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Uh, red concrete blocks back and then a red stainless pane right there on the end. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and place down a case wood trap door to both sides of that second to last block. And then we're going to place down red stainless pane and then a brick wall going forward. Same thing over here, like so. We're going to go ahead and take our red concrete. We're going to go ahead and go one... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 red concrete blocks, a brick wall, and a red stained glass pane. Same thing over here. So we're just going to copy the same exact design just on this side. Like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, red stained glass pane on top of this one, and then one and two. Uh, back and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 brick walls uh, going forward. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3 red stainless paints. So just like that. And obviously, we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side, like so. And once we have that applied to uh, both sides of the ship there, we are pretty much all set and good to go. Um, so that right there is going to include everything we have for layer number two of the build. Here's again a top-down view. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall on top of this glass pane here, followed by a second wall back. We're going to go ahead and take our black concrete and we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 of our uh, black concrete back. Followed by a polished black stone top sub on the end here and then one to both sides like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, polished black stone upside down stair going forward from that black concrete and then forward from the stair we're going to take our black concrete and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 black concrete, polished black stone wall, black stainless pane, and a second pane going forward. 
Same thing will be done over here. We have our two black panes here, our wall, and our black concrete that's gonna run all the way back to the stair here. So just like that. Now once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and then take our black stained glass panes and we're gonna go ahead and go to the second to last black concrete block. We're gonna place now black stained glass paint at the side of that as well as one like so. So you have two, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our polished black stone walls now, and we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 of these walls, and then one and two uh, polished or black uh, stained glass panes. So one quick correction we're gonna make here is we're actually gonna go ahead and delete these two walls right here. We're gonna place down two black stained glass panes in their place, and then we're gonna go ahead and delete this forward one like so. So you should have three like that. We're going to go over to the other side here and we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. Like this along the sides. And that right there will pretty much complete what we have there for layer 3. So pretty straightforward, simple layer there. Again, here's an aerial overview of what it looks like from the top down view. And with that, we'll be going ahead and diving into our next layer. Which will be layer number 4. Moving into our next layer, we have layer 4. For layer 4, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall on the front here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3 and four black concrete blocks back from that. Um, once we have that done, and actually we're gonna go ahead and take this to three blocks, so only three blocks back. We're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves some of our stripped birch wood, and we're gonna place down a row down the center. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28, going back like that down the center. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block right there. Well, then you're going to place down a polished black stone wall on the end here. Black stained glass pane to both sides. And then we're going to take our black concrete blocks. And we're going to go ahead and go forward one, two, three blocks like that. We're going to go ahead and switch back to our stripped birch wood. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, uh, twenty-one, and twenty-two of these blocks going forward. We're gonna go ahead and take our uh, black concrete and we're gonna place down one, two, three black concrete blocks, a polished black stone wall, and then two black stained glass panes. Followed by an item frame on the side of this block. And in the item frame, we're gonna place down a crossbow, which will be rotated to face downwards. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side of the ship and do the same exact thing. So just like this, all the way down the ship. So just like that. And then once we have that done on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and continue out to the side here. We're gonna go ahead and go off these two black concrete blocks. We're gonna place down two black stained glass panes. Again to both sides. We're gonna go ahead and then go forward from those glass panes with polished black stone walls. So we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, and twenty two walls forward, and then one, two black stained glass panes. After that is all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down two glass panes on this side, come out these two blocks here, and we're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 uh, polished black stone walls all along the side there. After we have that all done, that is going to pretty much wrap up everything we have there for layer number 4 of the build, and looking at from up above as we should have for the top down view. With that all done though, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for layer 4, and with that, let's move on to layer number 5. Moving into our next layer, we have layer 5. For layer 5 to be in, we're going to place down two smooth cord, or sorry, three smooth cord slabs on these first three blocks here on the front. We're going to go ahead and also place down a birchwood sign here on the front, followed by skeleton skulls on the side of the first two cord slabs. We're also going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this glass pane. We're going to have this slightly angled to the side, just like that, to go ahead and start forming up our bow. Now, we're also going to go ahead and take an end rod, and we're going to place down an end rod on top of this... Um, slab here just to go ahead and knock that out of the way and get that done. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a diorite wall here in this, or sorry, my bad, first is going to be a uh, daylight detector. And then we're going to place down a wall of diorite. We then want to place down two quartz slabs going back from the skeleton skulls. After those quartz slabs, we're going to go ahead and then go down our center with our redstone repeater, separate the notches like so. And we're going to go ahead and then place down two iron trap doors down the center. To the sides here, we're going to place down two birchwood pressure plates, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater like this to both sides, again with those notches spread apart, 
and then a birchwood pressure plate to the sides of those um, repeaters. We're gonna go ahead and then take your smooth quartz. We're gonna place down a row of three across the center here like so. So after we have this initial row of three done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a second row of three. After that, we're gonna go ahead and switch to our stripped birchwood. And we want to go ahead and place down rows of strip birchwood going down the, the side or the center of the ship. So we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 of these blocks. And we're going to go ahead and do three rows of this. So we have two. And last row. Again, just going to be three. Going down the center here. And that's going to make three. And after that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our stairs. So we're going to use quartz stairs for this. And we're going to place down a, first off, a row of two of diorite on the front here. So two diorite walls. And then taking our quartz stairs, we're going to place down a row of quartz upstairs down stairs all the way along the side here of those strip birch wood. Same thing over here. Just like this. And then after that is all done there, we're gonna go ahead and then take item frames. And actually, my bet we're gonna extend this one more stair past the back here. And we're gonna go ahead and then take item frames and place it all the way along the side here of these stairs. After that, we're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves black beds and also we're gonna extend the item frames onto the walls there. We're gonna place down black beds in those item frames, rotate it sideways. And this is going to be a bit tedious of a process, but you will be going ahead and doing this for each one of these item frames. And it will be done on the other side of the build as well, except I'm not going to show that other side with, the, with this part right here, just because it is the same thing and you guys kind of get the basic general gist of it and it takes a bit of time. Now for Java players, we also have the option to place down item frames and signs in the same block space. And I'm going to go ahead and use birchwood signs here to kind of help um, create a nice kind of flush look here with, this, um, with these windows these openings here on the side of the ship. I think it just kind of looks good, kind of complements it, and just uh, all around just kind of makes it look a little bit nicer here. Um, so I'm going to be taking this all the way down along the side here. Now again, if you're on Pocket Edition or Bedrock, you will not be able to place down signs and item frames in the same block space. And if that's the case, just go ahead and do the item frame technique and disregard the signs. So again, the same design here will be taken over to the other side. You'll be doing it on both sides. Again, just to save time. I'm not going to go ahead and do it on that side, but it will be the same on both sides. Um, after we get to that point and both sides are done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a lectern or a row of three lecterns across the back here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves white beds and we're going to place down a white bed here, here, and here. So you're going to have three white beds in total running on the sides here. We're going to place down a row of three of birchwood slabs across the middle here. And then if you're on Java, we'll be going ahead and using pistons. If you're not on Java, I would just use smooth quartz instead. But again, for my Java players, we'll go ahead and use a piston right here, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. We're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab to both sides, then a smooth quartz block for all versions right there in the center, and then another birchwood slab on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down two more pistons, or two more smooth quartz blocks, depending on your game version, back, and then two of our birchwood slabs like that going back. We're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab in the center here. This is going to be followed by an anvil to both sides. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a... Uh, daylight detector that is going to sit right here in the center and to the sides of it we're going to place down a birchwood slab. After we have that done we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull. It's going to be here in the corner kind of at a slight angle like so. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, smooth quartz slab here in the center and then a direct wall to the sides of that slab. We're also going to place down an end rod here on this wall and then one more end rod going up like that for the rear flagpole. So that's basically all we should have uh, for this layer. With that all complete, just make sure that you transfer over what needs to be to both sides. And taking a look at the top down view here, this is what it should look like with layer 5 all complete. With that all done, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to our next layer, which will be layer number 5. Moving into our next layer, we have layer 5. Layer 5, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down an acacia wood fence post on top of this wall here. And we then want to place down two smooth quartz blocks on top of these two blocks here. We're going to go ahead and then place down item frames across the side here of these blocks and black beds in those item frames rotated sideways as well as birchwood signs on the side of the blocks as well to go ahead and kind of create that uh, design there for, again for my Java players. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then place down an end rod on these two walls here and we're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz slab. 
Now we're going to be alternating a pattern all the way down the ship here. So we have our quartz slab, we have our fence gate, then we're going to open to the side. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern down along the side of the ship. So we have our slab, fence gate, slab, fence gate, slab, fence gate, slab, fence gate, slab, and you're going to stop at this. So basically you should have a total of seven slabs and you should have a total of six fence gates between those. And then on the end here, we're going to place down another end rod. After that, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over on the other side. So, again, same thing. We have our seven quartz slabs, our end rod, and then our fence gates. And these fence gates will be opened up toward the side. Now, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and then take our uh, birch wood pressure plates. I'm going to place down two on top of these blocks here, going back. Now for the center space in here, we're going to go ahead and get this built up. We're going to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and take our smooth quartz. We're going to place down a row of three across the space here, and then one block in the center, followed by a direct wall to both sides of that block. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stripped acacia wood. We're going to place down a block here in the center. And then again for my Java players, we're going to place down two pistons. If you're not on Java, I'd recommend probably using maybe stone brick full blocks or something of that sort. We basically have like this kind of glass window, so you can even use glass here if you want, but... Um, whatever you want, uh, that could work there, but for, again, for Java, we're going to be using our pistons. We're going to go ahead and place down a diary wall right here, and we then want to go ahead and place down a quartz slab. On both sides of that quartz slab, we're also going to place down a, um, skeleton skull. So just like this to both sides. And then also on the sides of where the pistons are, we're going to place down two daylight detectors. We're going to go ahead and turn these to the night mode, so they have that bluish gray color. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a acacia wood fence post again and a flower pot. We're going to place down a fence post here to both sides of that block there. And just so we don't forget, we're going to place down a flower pot on top of those. We're going to go ahead and then also do the same thing right here. Um, so after those skeleton skulls, we're going to do the same thing. And then in between them, we're going to place down a stripped acacia wood block. We then want to place down another quartz stair like so. This will be followed with a daylight detector. This one we're going to keep at that white color or the day mode. Then another quartz stair right here. And to both sides of the daylight detector, we're going to place down another birchwood, or sorry, a cache wood fence post and then a flower pot on top of that. We then want to place down a row of smooth quartz down the center from the stairs. So we have a total of uh, three. And then on the very back here, we're going to be using a barrier block. Now this barrier block can be obtained by typing in the command slash give at p minecraft colon barrier uh, block. So this command here, press enter, will give you this barrier block. Um, you can also obtain them on uh, bedrock. Uh, I think they're known as structure or void blocks. But basically, you just want an invisible block that you can attach items to, but that's not going to show up. So basically, we're just going to place down our barrier block right here. And we're going to place down a button to both sides of it for the time being. We're going to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull that's going to sit on top of this block, just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down our acacia wood fence post right here. And then an acacia wood fence post on top of these two anvils. And going forward from those fence posts, we want to go ahead and grab our end rods and skeleton skulls. We're going to place down two end rods forward. And then a skeleton skull here on the tip of them. So just like this. And once you have that all done right there, that's going to wrap up everything we have for that. Um, on the back here also, we're going to place down a barrier block on top of this daylight detector. Again, a stone button up both sides there. And then lastly, we're going to take iron trap doors and just place down a row of three across the slab and walls like that on the back. After that's all done there, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for this layer. And um, yeah, with that, here is a top-down view of what it should look like. And we'll be going ahead and moving into our uh, next layer, which will be layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer six. For this layer here, we're going to start by placing down an acacia wood fence post on top of this fence post here. And we then want to go ahead and just place down a temporary block. It can be whatever that's going to kind of come off the side. Or rather, we don't really need to do that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and place down a end rod that's going to sit like this. So we're going to have an end rod that's going to kind of come off this fence post and kind of like an X shape. And it's going to be on both sides. So like that. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here, but with a chain. So we're going to have a chain right in front of it that's going to be hanging downwards. And same thing back here. And like that. So you have those chains set up, and that's going to be for our cranes, which we're going to continue to work on here soon. Um, anyways, after 
that is uh, all complete there for that. We're gonna go ahead and continue on by placing down a flower pot that is gonna go on top of these two blocks here. Pressure plate here in the center. And we then wanna go ahead and place down a daylight detector. And our pressure plate to both sides of that daylight detector. And a redstone repeater with the notches spread apart. We're gonna place down another stripped acacia wood block here. And then a block here. And then on the very back here, we're gonna place down another acacia wood fence post with a flower pot on top of that. And we're also gonna go ahead and place down two fence gates like this down the center, which we're gonna open up toward the front there. Um, after we have that all done, uh, we wanna go ahead and then grab ourselves a barrier block. And we're gonna go ahead and go up and back of a barrier block and a button on both sides like that. And then on the back here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a acacia wood fence post on top of here and on top of these two fence posts as well. We then wanna go ahead and place down barrier blocks here on the side of, or rather on the top of these end rods. And we're gonna go ahead and place down buttons here and buttons here. So just like that. And after that is all done there, that is gonna wrap up everything we have here for that. And we're gonna go ahead and move talk about these um, lifeboats. Now you have a few options here regarding the lifeboats and it kinda of, kind of depend again on what version you're on. Um, if you are not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and taking string and just running it all the way across the top here. So um, you can just go ahead and run it all the way across the top of your fence gates, your slabs, um, all that stuff for non-Java players. However, for Java players, we are gonna be going ahead and doing a, something a little bit different. What we're going to do here is we're going to be going ahead and building off of these, uh, off this end rod like so, and then we're going to be building off of these fence gates, so like this. And you're going to go ahead and do this for every single fence gate, a block to the side, and then your end rods you have a block, or you're uh, going like that. Now once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab a lever. We're going to place down a lever on the sides of these blocks, and you want this to be above the end rods or the fence gates. So like this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and type the command slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this will be your command right here. Press and enter will give you this glowing stick. What you're going to do is you're going to left click the uh, lever until you get selected face wall. We're going to right click this and set this to floor. And we're going to go ahead and do this for every single one of these levers. We then want to left click the levers again and we're going to go and do selected facing and we're going to go ahead and rotate these around so that the ones on the end rods are pointing toward the middle and the ones that are on the fence gates are pointing toward the middle of the ship. And make sure you don't hit your fence gates because that will rotate them as well. But we just want to go and rotate them and it may take you a little bit of a different amount of time to kind of rotate these again depending on um, the orientation of your ship and everything like that. But once you have those in place on top of those fence gates, you can delete these blocks and you get this really cool kind of rigging here for the lifeboats. And we'll also go ahead and add string in between the levers as well, just to kind of help seal the deal there for that detail. Um, while we're at it also for my Java players, we're gonna take our debug stick, we're gonna left click the um, pistons until we get the prompt select extended falls. We'll then right click that and get rid of that wood portion to go ahead and kind of create this uh, nice design there for those pistons and all that stuff. So that right there is going to include everything we have there for layer number six of the build. And with that, we'll be moving into our last final layers. Moving into our last final layers of the build here, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with we've taken a case wood fence post, and we're going to go ahead and place down one and two more up going to the center. We're going to go then place down a uh, dark oak fence gate coming off both sides of this fence post, and we're going to go ahead and open the fence gates toward that fence post as well. We then want to go ahead and place down a chain over these end rods. It's going to sit like this on both sides. So like this, and then coming off the tips of the chains, we're going to go ahead and place down the skeleton skulls on the sides here. Like that, and that's going to basically help create our crane here, or our cranes. We're going to go ahead and then take our um, or we're gonna hold off on that for just a second. We're gonna go ahead and place down two more end rods that go up like so. And then on the very top here of the build, we wanna go ahead and place down a stack of two iron bars going up. Now, once you have those iron bars in place up there, we're gonna go ahead and take our barrier blocks. We're gonna go ahead and go off of this uh, first end rod right here. And we're gonna go ahead and build a kind of cascading staircase that's gonna come down from that. 
and it's going to come all the way down to this point here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take our buttons and we're going to go ahead and run them all the way along the side here of those blocks. So just like that, for that cabling there. And we're going to do the same thing going backwards. So we have a barrier block here. And again, we're going to go ahead and do that staircase going down like that. And we're going to go ahead and place down our buttons on the side here of those barrier blocks. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a spruce or stripped acacia wood block here. And then a black concrete block, stripped acacia wood block, and black concrete like so. And it's going to conclude the funnels. Then on the back here for our rear mast, we're going to go ahead and place down again two acacia wood fence posts up. Then we're going to place down two end rods and then two iron bars all the way up to the top there. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a barrier block that's going to come off this uh, fence post here. And we're going to go ahead and have this go down at an angle like so. And you can even place one in between the fence post. Unfortunately, we can't place any buttons on the side of that though. But on the sides of these barrier blocks here, we're going to go ahead and place down buttons. Going ahead and going forward from this, we're going to take our barrier blocks and place down one here. And we're going to go ahead and again, go down an angle like that. And we're going to have our buttons on the sides here of those blocks. Then going up to the top here, we're going to go, ahead and go to this end rod. We're going to place down a barrier block. And again, we're going to have this staircase that's going to go down like so and connect up to that fence gate. And again, we're going to place down snow buttons on both sides of those blocks just like that. After that's all done, we want to go and then take our uh, barrier blocks and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of barrier blocks going all the way forward to the front mast. And we're going to take our buttons and we're going to place them all the way along the side here of those barrier blocks. And the same thing will be done over here. So just like that. After you have that all done, we want to go ahead and then place down an end rod also to both sides of this uh, iron bar on top here. Again, this will be on both sides here. And after you have that all complete there, that's going to wrap up our last final layers of the build. And with that, that's going to wrap up my tutorial here for the RMS Empress of Ireland. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do, I'm using this build. I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the link from a side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to for a project you guys are working on overall enjoy the build. Have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Again, the big special thanks to Patreon supporter, the Grand Pope, for making this tutorial possible. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.